All right, we're about to cut another tree. As you can see, I got a set of come alongs hooked to this stump over here. Pulling that maple tree back this way because I don't want that cherry to take it out. So it's just, uh, hopefully it don't break too many limbs off of it. job exactly where we wanted it <laughs> no i only broke one little limb up on the top one oh tiny little okay limb. that's good yeah so we're good to let the pressure off this tree okay now all these should be open enough to where they'll get some good sunlight yeah they're starting to bud a little yeah, bit yeah there is some nice little maples here yeah once we get the stumps cut down and yeah i think it's gonna look pretty yeah good. that tree was not the healthiest tree no. so all right, this is a very handy tool to have on the homestead for pulling trees in directions you want. Uh, I think it's only five ton, but it does a very good job uh, pulling trees. Now, I've used these come-alongs uh, to actually uh, pull trees, you know, against their wheel that you want to cut. Uh, really like these things. Definitely an awesome tool for the homestead. So, as you can see, we got it strapped clear up in the top of that tree right there, up there about midway, and it pulled that tree pretty far. So, definitely a great tool to have on the homestead. When you're ratcheting the, uh, the come-alongs, you just, uh, it, it automatically clicks down itself, and then you pull, and it pulls on whatever, pulls the cable back, whatever you're pulling. Now, when you're going to release them, you got to put this thing up. I usually take it down as far as I can. I push it down a little bit, and then I push this lever here up. And I only take it one click at a time. I just take my time, because this thing could have a lot of pressure on it. It's so much easier just to do one click at a time. Definitely a handy tool. This is actually two tons. I'm sorry, it's not five ton, it's two tons. <clears throat> You're still talking about 4,000 pounds though. That's a lot of weight. It takes a little longer, you know, I could slap this thing over there and make that thing spin fast, but I'm not gonna do that. Once it starts loosening up, I'll do two clicks at a time. I can do two at a time. It'll go a little faster. But when it has a lot of pressure on it, I'd just do one click.
Now we could actually do three clicks. It's really getting loose. Now if you push both of these at the same time, it spins out. Nice come along. Now well, we're going to get ready to hook the log arch up to this big log here. I'm not this thing up. I don't, I can't do that. Why not? We're going to get ready to go ahead and hook this log, and it doesn't look too bad on that end. It looks pretty good. It don't look like it's rotten inside, so we're going to try to put it on the sawmill anyhow. But I'm going to give you guys just a little close up of how uh, we hook it up. I'm just trying to get the long. I do want the back end to be a little heavier than the front end because I don't want the front end to sag down. But sometimes that's not always easy to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab this cable here. You guys seen this before. And we're going to stick it underneath the log, which makes it a little easier. Now we still got to get the new winch put on it. I just haven't had the time. Okay, we're trying to keep it heavier back here, and I think we're going to be okay. I didn't measure this log. I didn't measure it, so I, it looks to be about a little bit over eight feet. So with just one hand, it seems like I've been able to lift just about every log. This winch is not the best winch to have either. We're just using this as a safety chain to keep the front of it up so it doesn't fall down in the front. Other than that, we're not transporting it very far, so I think it's okay. We're only going a couple hundred feet with it.
Okay, now once you got it to where you want it, all you gotta do is unhook this piece here. Now I do have binders. Those of you who have watched my channel and seen me build this thing, you know I have binders for this. Uh, we're not using the binders because now if we was gonna tram it on the road, we might want to bind two binders on it. We don't want to lose it on the road. Um, pretty easy taking it down. This winch here, definitely not a good winch for it, but we'll go ahead and get it down. And I take this down with one hand. And it just, now it's gonna unroll the same way when I put it up, it's gonna roll. You wanna roll. But as you can see, I can take one hand and actually move this log around one hand. I don't know how much that log would weigh, but I would say it's pretty heavy. And I've been kind of laying mine on firewood, <laughs> just to keep them up off the ground. We don't want them all dirty. So we'll just pull this up and unhook this, and then run it back under the tree. And then I don't tighten the cable because it's a pain in the butt anyhow. Then I have my log setting up off the ground and ready to go on that sawmill. Now if you notice, up, up there, all the logs on the ground, Julia came through and painted all the ends of them. And we used a latex paint on the ends of them. They do have a sealer uh, to put on these. I don't have any, but we did have some latex paint and we went around and, and painted all the ends. And this, I, I believe this is to slow down the drying process. Now, not all of these logs that you see will maybe be boards. Maybe some of them will be firewood. I don't know because I'm not really that good at the sawmill thing yet, but that's something we're gonna learn as we go. All right, it's looking a lot better up there where we um, cut the trees down and you can still see the, the three nice little maple trees we're trying to keep. Uh, we're working on that bank, cleaning up some of the stumps, getting them cut down as close as we can to the ground. And uh, those trees, I might want to top them, but I, I think I might wait until next, in the fall, maybe top them out. I, I didn't want to do them now, because they're maple. It might do a lot of bleeding. I don't know. I don't know if it'd kill them or not, but I, I don't want to mess with them right now. So Julie's up there just raking the bank. I took the weed whacker over it and cut up a bunch of them sticks and stuff. It's looking better. It's getting there. One day you'll see a pavilion sitting right up there behind them trees. We're hoping to build a pavilion up there. One day. Just just dreams. Right, Joel? We're allowed to have them. A few more stumps to cut off, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. So I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.